right, Charlotte Moore. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Kagadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, who rule well, teach well, be a great example to us, y'all, the brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations, hopeful lake out there pushing this word in truth and this is serious across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shout out one to the hopeful lake of believers and listeners. Have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And what I want to get into this morning, you know, pretty much how, you know, all these things are happening, you know, at the same time. Okay? All these things that the scriptures speak of is happening at the exact same time. You know, there's a build up, okay, until the end. And when you go, okay, in Habakkuk 2 and 3, straight to the point and it says this Habakkuk 2 and 3 for the vision yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry okay and these things that are written of the vision that our forefathers seen and had you know scribed okay and and and, and, and collected to make this book, this Bible, which is inspired directly through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shah, so that in the latter times the elect, you know, will understand his will, okay? It will understand all these major events that we see taking place in the earth, okay? And what's the end game to what we see? That's the most important thing. When you see, you know, the end game of what's happening, that's why comfort, comfort, and confidence comes from okay knowing that Yahweh Shah is going to intervene in the midst you know this chaos and turmoil alright and it's going to be on the behalf of his people man beginning with the elect of his people okay that's why we pray to be part of that number you know we fight and endure to stay in the spirit so we can have a chance to be a part of that number okay now, real quick, let's get this. And then we want to expound in the spirit. All right, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 34. Isaiah 34 and 16. It says, Seek you out of the book of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shah, and read. No one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. Okay? For my mouth it have commanded, and his spirit it have gathered them. Okay? For my mouth it have commanded, and his spirit it have gathered them. And it says what? No one of these shall fail. Okay? And what we're seeing is all these prophecies are activated at the same time. Okay? And then these prophecies are happening, and the word is going out in the spirit. The elect is being gathered. Okay? We got a lot of things happening. Alright? That's biblical. You know, even the Pastor Hart, you know, he did that lesson. Do how Alex Jones saying the Bible is happening right now. You know, because right, right now, the only thing that can explain what's going on is the Bible. Okay? People try to make sense of things without the Bible. Okay, they try to get the big picture of what's going on and they can't do it, man, because only the Bible gives you the, the, the full uncut, <laughs> okay, detailed commentary of what's going on in the earth. You got the scripts talk about the Egyptian versus the Egyptian. Well, we're seeing that. Isn't there more division? Isn't division becoming more intense, okay, within America? Okay. But scriptures speak about famine. And all we've been hearing for a year and, and some change is what? Food shortage. Okay? Uh, famine. Okay? This is the food supply chain. You know, uh, I think a hundred food processing plants have been, you know, uh, destroyed, you know, by fire. Okay? So... So everything is happening at the same time. 
World War Three. Okay, which when you go into what's going on now, okay, because before war, nations get themselves in position to have some type of leverage. And what we're seeing is the gathering of allies unto Russia and the gathering of allies unto the West. Now, you just had Sweden and Finland join NATO. Okay? And that gives NATO, all right, a, a strategic asset on the borders of Russia. See, Russia is being pushed to the point where all the only choice they're going to have is to fight. Because pretty soon NATO is going to be all okay up and down their western border the way it's going. Okay? With feeling the Sweden going to get ran through. <laughs> when, when the most I really bring okay Russia forth and its allies okay so you have Sweden and Finland pretty much teaming up with the West alright then on the flip side you have Iran okay and uh, Argentina Argentina ready to join BRICS okay ready to join those BRIC nation which is headed you know by China okay which Russia is an is, is ally of debt okay so you're seeing people choose side before major fighting man because what these nations are doing once you join with these nations <clears throat> now y'all are combining resources okay you're making your land your territory available for them. Okay? And it's all strategy, man. Yahweh Bashim al Shai, like the scripture say, he mustereth the host of the battle. Which means it's his spirit, alright? That's gathering these nations for war. Okay? Why? Because it's written. If it's written, that's a decree from the king, man. Okay, that's why we see these things happening directly as the Lord said it will happen. You know, Iran joining with you know uh, economically with Russia. Okay, it's Ezekiel thirty-eight, Turkey, which is a NATO nation, signed with Russia. That's Ezekiel 38. Magog and God, which is Russia. Gomar, Togomar, which is Turkey. And the Persians, which is Iran. Okay? Then, we have China, India. Join with Russia. Okay, North Korea. Hey, that's going to what? The kings of the east in the book of Revelation. Then say Euphrates is drying up. Man, everything happened at the same time. And with all that, you have what? The infrastructure and the marketing of the MOTB. Okay? The MOTB, the Karagma, is being, okay, <laughs> gradually incorporated within this society. All happening at the same time. Man, what up? You got chariots, more chariot sightings, in, you know? Chariots showing up at the alphabet parade. All these things happen at the same time because none of these shall fail. As the scriptures say. So now it's just a thing of, 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 of enduring 
It's Yahweh Bashim Al Shah doing his work in the earth, man. Because Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, he's working in the earth, man. Okay? But that's the point. You know? We're coming down the home stretch. You know, it's, it's the time to be locked into the spirit. And the time, all right, to, to, to pray for the end of this thing, man. Okay? So, Lord, will you edify to the next time I say shalom?